Good morning down here. Good morning. Hello everybody, happy Thursday. Sebastian and I just got back from the gym and I have to be honest, I my mind is a little bit crazy because we're getting ready to go on vacation. Sebastian's first vacation ever. Traveling with a special needs child is a little stressful because there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff that I have to pack about, pack and think about. So I'm gonna start getting some of that stuff ready. I'm gonna show you what it looks like traveling with a kid who's got some extra needs. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Mr. Man is just rolling around right here. Hi, buddy. Did you have an okay time at the gym? You look sleepy, like you wanna take a little nap. Hi, mama's talking to you. Hello. We got Zeus with his toy. Oh, look at me, I just took my leggings off and put shorts on, sorry. Zeusy's hanging out with his toy, and Miss Nala is enjoying a banana right now. <laughs> Here's my thought process right now. I have to pack for myself. I have to pack for Sebastian, and I have to help Geo pack. If you're a wife or a spouse, you know how that is. You have to pack for everybody, right? On top of that, all of Sebastian's medical stuff. Because we're going to be in Tennessee in the Smoky Mountains, the elevation is a little bit different, and it could affect the pressures in Sebastian's heart. He's always had an issue with pressures across the gradient of his heart. So we have to bring some travel oxygen as well as his pulse ox machines so we can be checking his levels daily and make sure that he's staying comfortable. On top of that, we have the animals to think about. We do have two really good friends coming throughout the day and our neighbors to take care of the animals, but I've got to leave Zeus's food out, leave instructions, for him prep food for Nala leave instructions for Nala clean the house before we go because I like to come home to a clean house you know how I am it's a lot and we leave Sunday morning at 5 a.m. so it's go time ain't no hood like motherhood isn't that a funny candle okay so first thing I'm thinking about Sebastian's pulse ox machine. This checks his oxygen levels his heart rate lets us know that his body is getting enough oxygen um, just like in the hospital when they're, you know, you, they put that monitor on you and you can see all your numbers on the screen. That's exactly what this is. I know that I have another um, sticky thing. I'm going to have to go find that. It's been a long time since we had to bust this baby out, since about December. Uh, we have to pack an extra feeding tube button. God forbid anything happens. Sebastian's main way of getting food, obviously, is through his feeding tube. There's his little tubey that goes in his belly right there with an extra extension. This this cord right here plugs into that part, which is inside of his belly, and then we plug his feeding machine to this cord. It's also how he gets his medicine. See that little tiny one right there? He gets his meds through there, and he gets his food through here. So extra um, G-tube kit. These are feeding bags with their little extensions. This is what plugs in to the feeding tube I just showed you. Goes on the end of here, right here. Screw that into here, plug it into the tubey, go straight into his belly. So that so far, diapers and wipes, I don't even know how, how many, how much do you pack for four days? Four days, five days, the whole thing? I'm trying to think, he usually gets about like three diaper changes, four diaper changes a day, so we should pack a lot. Are you okay? Are you grumpy? What? What's wrong with him? Is he grumpies? Talk to me. I'm trying to get all your stuff together. Are you done rolling? You want to sit down for a little bit? Hey, I'm talking to you. Hi. Hi. Hi, buddy. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Still waiting on the rest of Sebastian's other food to come in, but I've got his formula that we have to pack. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we're coming home Thursday and an extra just in case. I might even pack one extra just in case. He'd rather have more than not enough. Can't forget his swimsuits. He's, you guys remember this one? This is my favorite swimsuit. I'm waiting on his um, chemical-free sunscreen to come in. Of course, we got his little pair of shoes. I gotta find all of his summer clothes. 
jammies, summer clothes, extra clothes. <laughs> it's a lot. I found a, a, a full oxygen tank, but for some reason I can't find the one that has the, uh, I can't even think of the word, the compressor. It's the button that turns, turns the oxygen on. I have no clue where it's at. It might possibly be in his bedroom closet, so I'll have to check there. Or it's up. No, it's not in here. It's not in here, Zeus. But I did break out some of his summer clothes. These are some of my summer clothes. So again, Sunday, we're going to be in the car all day with the air conditioning on. So he'll probably be in jammies. And then we've got... Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, extra outfits, sleep outfits, extra shirts, probably pack them some pants. Oh my goodness, pack them some pants just in case. Two sweaters. And I found some extra swim trunks downstairs. Look how cute that is. The most important thing though that I need to find is his oxygen tank. So let me go look for that. Found it. And it was in his room. And as you can see, it's this tank is almost done but this is what turns it on to find his nose cannulas and some stickers for his cheeks in case he does need oxygen we'll swap this out and then i'll have to bring an extra spare tank just in case because these don't last that long hopefully he won't need it but we have to prepare for him to need it you know what i'm saying all right let's take a break from packing how you doing over here how you doing over here you gonna say anything? You trying to see? You're right there. You trying to see yourself? What? You're so quiet. You don't have anything to say? Huh? Nothing? Do you want to eat? Sorry, you're touching your mouth. Do you want to eat? Can you show me eat? What do you do when you want to eat? Show me eat. Yeah, but by your mouth. Show me eat. Show me. Yeah. He touches his mouth like three times in a row when he wants to eat. Eat right there. What do you want for lunch? Ooh, piggy boy. I think he's a little tired. He got up pretty early and then we went to the gym. He was hanging out in the gym, right? With your friend. Did your one friend come over and hang out with you today? Yeah. Wanna have some lunch and maybe take a nap? <laughs> Why are you giving the side eye today, huh? Why'd you give him the side eye? No? Okay, I'll get your food. <laughs> Someone's being very patient while mama packs, huh? Why you got your hand all the way in the back of your tongue, huh? You were just talking. Oh, you don't want to see me? No? Tell me a story. Tell me something. What? Are you excited to go on vacation? We're going to take you in the pool. And we're gonna go on a little rides in the mountains. And we're gonna get all the ice cream you want. You want some ice cream over there? Look at, he's tired. He's trying to snuggle into something. He's sleepy. <laughs> what do you think about vacation? You're not going to know till we're there, till something's different, huh? When you're in water outside, you're going to know. And when you're having ice cream every single day, you're going to know. <laughs> what? 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 Talk to me. Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> Tell me a story. I was just cleaning the kitchen and he was talking nonstop and now I come over here and he stops. <laughs> Tell me something. He's so beautiful. 
You gotta cut your hair before we go too. Give you a little trim up. A little trim up and a shape up. Ooh, piggy. You piggy boy. Yeah. What? Tell me. What's that face? You trying to sit up? You to sit up more? Can I go finish packing a little bit? Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. Yes? Okay. Thank you. Excuse me. There's your voice. You need to say more? What is that face you're making? You're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. <laughs> Love you. I gotta swap out your oxygen tanks. Okay, dude? <laughs> As many times as I've done this, I still can never remember how to lock and unlock it. I think that's locking it. We'll find out. Yeah, okay, so now we know. Take this one out. Gotta get a little knife to cut this off. Perfecto. Nice and tight on there. Now this one should be totally green when we open it. Perfect. Gorgeous. Let me show you. It says full. So now I'm going to reclose it because now it's open. And we don't want it to be open. We want it to be closed. And hopefully. See any more oxygen still comes out? It should be closed. Oh, it's probably just that. It's trial and error with me, guys, because I don't remember <laughs> for the longest time. So then if I do that, okay, it goes back up to full. Okay, I got it. Just had to release a little bit of the air pressure. <laughs> there we go. Okay. I'm remembering. <sighs> yeah, Mama's remembering how to do it all. It's been a minute since we had to pack up all this stuff. It's okay. I also don't know where his nose cannulas are. Have to find that. We're taking a break from packing for a little bit. And the girls that I nanny, their mom and then another friend of ours are the ones who are actually taking care of the animals while we're gone. They're coming over to learn how to take care of the animals. And then I think we're going to go see, I think there's like a new Mario movie out right now. Sebastian's never been to a movie before. But I think we're going to go spend some time with the girls and her mom. And we're going to go catch a movie this afternoon, a little matinee. It'll be Sebastian's first time, so I'll try to record as much as I can. But it probably won't be much. It'll probably just be right before the movie starts. But it'll be interesting to see how he does at the movies his first time. So let's go. It's just us in the movie theater. It's just us. we got the whole place to ourselves. What do you think? I think he's gonna sleep, that's what I think. Things you remember to bring with you, naloxone could be the most important. Look at that popcorn. Yummy! Just got done at the movie theater. I think that there is a very slim chance that I will, will be bringing Sebastian back to the movie theater. It was a new experience for him, and I don't think that he enjoyed it. I think it was very overstimulating for him. It was dark, but it was loud. He was squirming the entire time, shaking his head no. A few times he like reached up for his ears, so I think maybe the, the speakers were a little too loud. Eventually, I just put him on my chest and put a blanket over, kind of like his head over his ears. Covered the light from the screen and the, and the noise a little bit, and he took a nap on me, but... 
I don't think we'll be going to the movie theaters again anytime soon. I think Sebastian is happy to be home. We did not like the movies, huh? No. We did not. Hey, careful, you're bumping into him. We didn't like the movies, huh? What happened in there? Was it dark? It was dark, but it was loud, huh? And now you get to stretch your body out. <laughs> you need some, yeah, you need some stretches. He sat on my lap the entire time. He napped for a little bit too, but he was like just squirming and moving and grinding his teeth. And you could just tell that it was something new and different. And I, I don't think that he liked it. I don't think that you liked it. That's okay. Now we know. We won't be going to see any movies in Tennessee, that's for sure. At least not at the movie theater. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we're going to be doing anything like that over there. He needs a haircut, but I think we'll do that tomorrow. You need a little haircut, mister. Yeah, are we tired now? Yeah, that was weird, huh? It was dark, but it was loud, and it was in the middle of the day. Huh, it's different. What do you think? You pooped now? <laughs> you pooped? <laughs> I think we give the movie theater a experience a uh, three out of 10. <laughs> Back to business over here. We have, I know it's only Thursday, but we leave Sunday morning at like five in the morning. So we, you know, we lose Sunday as an option to pack. We have to be ready by Saturday, which means basically we have to be ready by Friday. You know what I mean? We have to be like 90% done by Saturday morning. <laughs> I still feel like there's so much stuff to think about and pass for. <sighs> so much stuff to do. All right. Sebastian sunscreen just came in, so that makes me happy. It's one extra thing to mark off my list and also Got a little self tanner that came in. This is my favorite self tanner. I've been using it forever and ever and ever. If anybody needs a self tanner for a vacation, this is a great one. I'm not gonna do a tutorial or anything, but this is great. I think someone is slap happy now. No? What were you just doing? What are you doing? What were you doing? Come over here. No. <laughs> what were you doing? You were yelling, hey, weren't you? Hello? His little laugh. <laughs> what you thinking? What? What you thinking? You're ready for some dinner probably. It's already pretty late now. It's What's that face? <laughs> what is that face? You're being goofy. <laughs> it's already almost 5.30 over here now. You gonna get some dinner in ya? Yeah. <laughs> He's so funny. <laughs> okay, it took some searching, but I found the charger for his Paul Socks machine, so that's good. I found some stickers and his oxygen tubing. That way, if we put the oxygen, if, if he needs oxygen and we put the oxygen on his face, sometimes he rips it off. So these stickers, we put them on either side of his like cheeks, uh, like by his cheekbones, kind of by his ears. That helps them stay on. And then I found some extra, whatever you call these, for this when we check his oxygen levels. So... And I don't know if I already said, I just got an extra oxygen tank too. So that's what everything's looking like just for Sebastian. <laughs> the most important stuff being this and his G-tube and his feeding supplies right there. 
um, obviously clothes are important too, but all this medical stuff, we have to make sure that we have that and all the chargers for it. Cause you just, I don't know how, <laughs> I don't know how the, uh, elevation is going to bug him or if it's going to bug him, but we have to prepare for that. Also, when I was downstairs in the basement, I found some Geo swim trunks, so I can cross that off my list. Oh my goodness. Sebastian a little milk feed and also make some dinner for myself. We did not have any snacks at the movie theater. I'm sure everything would have been super expensive. I think a bowl of popcorn is like 17 bucks right now. I'm going to start a little milky feed for him and then that might be it for today. Tomorrow, make sure it's at zero. Tomorrow we definitely have to give him a little haircut. Get him all ready for vacation. Handsome boy. Just a little trim up and a shape up. Nothing big. He's so tired. I thought he would nap longer at the movie theater, but he didn't. He didn't want to. He napped for like 10, 15 minutes on me, and that was it. <laughs> Typical. You have anything else you want to say for the day? Yes? What do you want to say? Huh? Nothing? No, Mama, I think I'm tired, Mama. <laughs> I don't know why packing feels so exhausting, but it does. I think there's just so many things to think about and I don't want to forget anything. Like I keep having mini panic attacks that I'm going to forget Sebastian's seizure medication or something, which I never have before. Like anytime we've gone somewhere overnight or something, I've never forgotten it. So chances are I won't, but I keep like, don't forget this, don't forget that. So I think I'm gonna let myself be done for today. I got the bulk of Sebastian's needs set out on the table and I'm happy with that. Tomorrow, we're gonna do haircuts, more packing, and Gio's off work, so we'll probably do some more painting on the cups tomorrow, I think. And then Saturday's gonna be crazy, last minute running around craziness, and then we leave Sunday. Sebastian's first vacation, yay! I feel like packing for a family, for vacation in general, is pretty stressful. Packing for your kids is stressful. You know, you wanna have, of course, enough clothes and swimsuits and sunscreen and all of that stuff. But all of the extra stuff that Sebastian needs too is a lot, and that's just what life kind of is with him. Again, we have no clue if the elevation is gonna make a difference in him, but we have to prepare for that. And that's what the Paul socks and oxygen and the tubing and the face stickers and all that stuff is for. We just have to prepare for that. And that's okay. I'd rather be over prepared and ready than panicking in, in, in a situation that's not, not good. Um, if something were to happen, we would just go to the local hospital and they would probably be in contact with Sebastian's team. And his team would probably help instruct how to treat for him. I don't think anything is going to happen to them, but I think that that could be something that people would wonder. Like, what if you go on vacation and his heart isn't doing well or something changes in him? We would just go to the local um, emergency room. And I think his team would advise their team on not only his history, but, you know, what has worked well for him in the past. So we've already looked up the closest hospital and we have all that stuff planned. But I think it's going to be a wonderful trip. Here's to hoping that the uh, elevation just doesn't phase him at all. I think he's stronger, stronger than we think, and he's doing so good, so I, I think it's gonna be good. It's just all this craziness of getting, getting everything ready beforehand and a nine hour drive in the car. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all for being here during this crazy stressful weekend but it's gonna be so worth it when we do all of the fun stuff with Sebastian in Tennessee. We have so much planned, like splash pads and the pool and the jacuzzi, and they have like a little a kid section of the um, amusement park where parents can ride with their kids. So it's gonna be a ton of new fun experiences for him. So thanks for hanging out with us today and this weekend. Vacation is next week. It's gonna be very, very fun. I'm going to go feed our bird because apparently she is starving. Sebastian's got his milk started. I'm gonna get some dinner myself, switch the laundry when it's done, and probably make a list of everything I have on my mind so I feel better, do better when I get it out of my brain and onto paper. So I'm gonna do that and we will see you tomorrow for a haircut and cups. Sebastian, can you say bye-bye?
Can you say we see you tomorrow? Like this, bye bye. With your hand. No? He's tired. You say bye bye a little bit. <laughs> or was that eat? You wanna eat? <laughs> Alright, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> say bye bye. Sleepy boy. <laughs>